So first drive of the game for Kelly. Here comes the blitz. Kelly stands strong. He finds Austin Mitchell over the middle. We're going to see that connection a whole lot tonight. Two of the most prolific players in Southeastern history play the rest of the way. Kelly stands in the pocket, finds Mitchell again over the middle, and Mitchell is going to signal first down, and that will move the chains for the Lions. Mike Lucas, the defense coordinator to make, but, you know, you, you have to follow the rules. You have to play the same rules as everybody else. Kelly's looking for the deep shot to Sprowak. He has him. Touchdown, Lions. Cole Kelly to Anthony Spurlock, and the Lions score very quickly. Rangifo knocks it through the pipes, gets the extra point. The Lions strike very quickly, 7 to nothing, on the 39-yard strike from Cole Kelly to Anthony Spurlock. It's a Cole Kelly touchdown pass to Anthony Spurlock. The Western Kentucky transfer down the middle, beautiful throw. The Demons scored on their first opening drive as well. Pass out of reach for Fitzwater. Hammond. Fletcher, quarterback run. He trips. It's like one over one of his offensive linemen. It's going to be a loss on the play. I guess the player that blew everything up like he usually does is Alexis Ramos. Still around between the lines. Here we go. Fourth down and long. Fletcher is going to heave it in the end zone, and that is intercepted. A one-hander by Zai Alexander. And Alexander goes up the sidelines. He gets pushed out of bounds after 20. I went up with one hand and got that football, and I, just an unbelievable play. And you see why he's got six interceptions on the year and returns it to get him into some decent field position. Ten rushing touchdowns. That's, and in the that's top incredible. five, yeah. Kelly. Down the right sideline to Mitchell, and Mitchell makes the grab. There is a fight for the football, but Mitchell was able to wrestle it away. And you see the excitement from Mitchell there. I take it right, that's a heck of a play. Almost simultaneous possession of the football, but that's going to go to the offense every time. Great touch by Kelly. Gets hit as he's throwing. They're going to run the football. Big hole left side, Jerron Jones. Gets plenty and more to move the chains for the line. To run the football more, but definitely more efficient. They ride. Jones again, right side, the 20, the 10, bumped out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And, and pick up some positive yards in the running game and not putting everything on the shoulders of Cole Kelly. Good job by the offensive line. Yeah, look pretty good on those two runs, I would have to say. Now Kelly is going to keep it, and Kelly just gets tripped up again. A busy man is Leachman as he saves another touchdown there. Fourth and goal here. Kelly up the middle. He bounces off of his line and gets into the end zone. Second effort by Cole Kelly for touchdown run number 13. It he was able to find where the opening was and put it in. And that was here. Bryce Cage on the tackle. 14-0 early on. Fletcher leaps over the defender and doesn't get much more than that as he has hit behind the line of scrimmage. Backfield to kind of blow it up a little bit, and then Ramos comes and cleans it up. Foul. Fletcher. He is going to step up and throw to the left, and the pass is incomplete. The intended receiver was Robbie Williams, and on the coverage is Della Husse. But he stuck with his man, and, and that was something was discussed a lot during the week when we talked to coaches that, you know, when you're in man coverage, stay with your man. When you're in zone coverage, stay in your zone. And that time... Four-man rush. Kelly's going to throw it deep left sideline, and he has Brennan Dingle. Dingle will be down inside the 35-yard line of the Demons. What a beautiful throw and catch from Kelly to Dingle. I think we can see the game plan of the Lions up to this point. They're taking their shots deep. And it's just very... Why the Lions spread the wealth. Kelly hangs tough in the pocket. Deep shot. He has him. Gage Loverdane for the touchdown. Kelly hangs tough. And the result is six. Stands in there and takes some shots. And he doesn't flinch. And then again, it's 260, and he's able to do that. But Larva Dane, we talked about him as well. The freshman just. Well, if a football play is like the Mona Lisa, that is one. A beauty from Kelly to Larva Dane. 
It was so beautiful that we even have three shots for you. Great job by the camera crew. But again, just nothing simple. I mean, nothing difficult. Very simple. You know, the Northwestern beat the offensive line up front for with the protection. But Listen, that's, the mo that's the best throw of the night so far for Fletcher. Fletcher is going to throw it to the right side. Jump ball. Pass is incomplete. Ten, ten receiver was Robbie Williams. And saying, no, no, not today, is 23 for the Lions, Blaine Delahousse, who's been very active so far. Great cover. Early in the second. There's a handoff behind the line of scrimmage. And that was Jack Henderson knowing the runner. From his defensive tackle spot, he's the one that really kind of great swim move there and was able to hold up the back anytime on the coverage. Play action, and Graves swallows Fletcher in the backfield. Nareed did not fool Graves at all. And that, that was one of those plays just, you see the inexperience of the offensive lineman. Fletcher is going to have to escape. Fletcher throws over the middle, and that was dropped. That was actually a beautiful throw My Fletcher, but it also helped as it looks like Zai Alexander put his hand on it and forced the incompletion. Oh, I think Zai Alexander definitely got his hand on this football. Great closing speed, come, speed comes across. I tell you what, the three games we've done together, Zai Alexander is becoming a player. Outstanding job on the back end of this line defense. And that is actually blocked by the Lions. And they're going to get really good field position because of it. Here comes the pressure. The line picks it up pretty good. And Kelly finds Terrell Carter breaking tackles. And Carter is close to the goal line. Mark just short. Almost, you know, you had, you had your short route, your intermediate route, your deep route. Kelly sees the coverage. And that is an easy touchdown for Teron Jones, the manful skipper. And you see a little tempo now from Northwestern, a little two-minute drill. It's a quarterback run again. And Ramos. That was Henderson. Uh, Cameron Ward in that offense. And inside pressure again. Fletcher's going to have to throw the football away. Here comes the blitz by Valzen. And Kell was able to find an answer to Dingle. Dingle. Valzen came on the blitz, and he got rid of it quick. The Lions have no timeouts, and that is no one given over in the middle of the field in Demon territory. Last week, almost 100 yards in receiving. Kelly, plenty of time, finds Mitchell, and Mitchell slides inside the 30-yard line. It's under 30. Mitchell, already four catches, 65 yards. This time, Kelly finds McGee. There are a lot of targets, and that is even without, the, without one of the top receivers, C.J. Turner. Kelly directing traffic here is Kelly. He's going to flip it to his back. Jones. Jones gets right out of bounds. You can have her defo for the field goal attempt. Kelly throws it to the left. Finds Nick Kovacs, another receiver. Kelly will throw across the middle, and he finds Spurlock again for the second time. Touchdown, Lions. Kelly to Spurlock, and Spurlock gets his second Touchdown catch of the night. It was wide open. Great read by Cole Kelly. Not a bad batting average there. Two for two. two. Another resume builder for Cole Kelly as he tries to win back-to-back -back Walter Payne Awards. This performance will certainly help that. And that's a big turnaround right there. You know, it, it, Northwestern looked like they had a little moment. Thanks, Jace. Coach, a touchdown to finish off the first half. What's the message going into the locker room? Yeah, keep the paddle down. You know, we can't let up with these guys. I mean, it's uh, we're in the Southland, right? So points, <laughs> points come a dime a dozen, and we got to continue to play hard. We cannot let up on our intensity. We got to keep playing. How do you think your defense has done against the quarterback that they put in instead of Clement? Yeah, you know, I, I'm I'm happy all three phases really efficient offensively. Defense have done well. You know, gave up one touchdown, and then we block a punt on uh, you know to put us in great field position and five for five on extra points. No return on kickoff returns. And, you know, so we're, we're doing a good job. Get our three and out. Get the football back. Good run up the middle for the Lions. 
Just gives them another option, I guess. Kelly to Given. We talk about three players that had themselves great games in the passing game. He's the catch and gets the first. And here comes, here comes the Cephas Johnson pass to Terrell Carter. Now we get to see a little bit of Cephas Johnson. As they go into an empty backfield. Cephas actually has a couple touchdowns. Positive yards to get him in third manageable. Kelly throws the ball quick to Given, and Given, the big man, has some room to run, and Given lunges forward and picks up a first down for the line. Johnson really well. They use him just enough to keep him ready and to keep him sharp, but also use him in situations. How about that? A screen to the fullback. Damian Dawson award the big boy. He gets into the end zone for a touchdown. To reward the big guy, and Damian Dawson rumbling, bumbling, Stumbling down the sidelines, gets a couple of blocks from John Allen. And look, look at the speed from the big boy. And I, and I love when you, when you reward, like you said, you reward a guy who sticks his nose in there and does all the dirty work like we saw and mentioned earlier in the first half. And in that play call designed for him, he does a great job selling it, just gets enough of the outside linebacker on the blitz to make him think it's a pass. Kelly stands in there, takes the hit, dumps it off, and then gets some great blocking up the sideline to lead to another touchdown for the Southeastern Lions. And the Lions reward the big guy. How about this? A fullback screen. You don't see that quite often, but it shows you how efficient this offense is, and nothing's really going wrong for the offense when a 35-yard screen to the fullback converts for six points. Well, it was a great answer. You know, that was a situation last week against UIW where UIW scored and Southeastern wasn't able to answer. And then He's a, a green quarterback coming in, not understanding what to do on the offense. The big man gets an interception on the screen. Shinenu Ogbona, the UMass transfer, gets an interception. The big boys are getting some big plays here tonight. The fullback and now the defensive lineman. Ogbona did a great job reading the screen here. As an offensive, ex-offensive line coach, we used to see those guys on defense. They would have that drive. Johnson is in the game. Now Johnson's going to throw. He wants a deep shot, too. And he finds him, and that is Larva Dane. And he fumbles the football. It looks like the Demons have it right back. Nothing too much about it. I think it's going to be a fumble when we see the replay here. He's just trying to make something happen, trying to make some moves. Great job coming back to the ball, avoiding guys. And, yep, it's out. And uh, great job swarming to the football. You know, they used to call this. Too. For the Demons. Now, Fletcher makes a man miss, but he gets paid for it as a bone-crushing hit. Quarterback runs. Mason, Ramos, they've been in there popping some heads. And that was actually That's Ramos, Ramos. Yeah. yeah. Fletcher's going to throw to the left side. Minimal gain by Griffin. At RPO, they run pass option. You're going to see the two linemen pull. The, the linemen don't know if it's run or pass. They think the ball's getting handed off. And I'm defending that play. Fletcher hanging tough and gets swarmed up. Talk about swarm. This time it was the Lions defense. And it was Graves again. Graves is having a well of a night. Pride and hurt his feelings. This time he fights hard, does a, they do a little TNT twist in there with the two tackles, and he stays with the quarterback and gets the certain situations to allow them to sustain drives. Fletcher trying to hit the outside, but gets drugged down. Fletcher. Called Zy Alexander in the, in the first and second levels, but this is a great job by. Play action. Fletcher to the left side. Pass falls incomplete, and that is Alexander on the coverage. It's a shutdown corner over there. I mean, I, just great technique. He stays square to the defender. Not a lot of classes of 2020 and 2021. So congratulations to both classes in both years. And a big return by Dingle. Up to the 40, has one man to beat, and he does it to 20. The 10, the Ashley gets slung out of bounds inside the five-yard line. Partially blocked punts, 
and now a huge kickoff return right when Northwestern State allows themselves to get back into a three-score game, and now Southeastern's down inside the five with an opportunity to put it back to a 28-point. Southeastern's Athletic Hall of Fame. Congratulations to everybody that was rewarded, and guess who, who was also being rewarded? That is Cephas Johnson with a touchdown run. Doing the gritty, a there between Kelly and Johnson. But Johnson gets a touchdown himself. It is 49 to 21. They're getting banged up, so let's let Cephas get a shot and get it in the end zone. And that is, I guess you can call it a wildcat, maybe not really much of a wildcat, more of like a wild lion, I guess now with uh, the Southeastern Lions mascot. And yeah, doing the adjustments as well. Fletcher's going to throw here on third down and two. Somehow escapes the sack and has to throw it, the football away as Albano was on top of Fletcher about to bring him down. Separation on the offensive lineman. You see right here, boom. Ripped underneath. He's the one that disrupted that play. And it shows the trust you have in Cephas Johnson. I mean, he's a good football player. And he's going to allow you to do things like this. <laughs> How about that? Allen out in front. Allen still continuing to block his guy. And John Allen coming with a pancake block. All I can say is wow with John <laughs> Allen, man. He was blocking downfield. There's going to be a penalty, and it's going to be on Northwestern State for hands to the face because the defender had his hand under the face mask of John Allen, and even after his helmet got ripped off, he still kept blocking him and pancaked him after that. I tell you what, that's a Sports Center moment. They won't get it, but that's a Sports Center moment right there. But what 95 pounds? Allen is 305 pounds coming full speed at you. You know what that remind me of? That on the blind side. I was about to with say. With the practice when, when uh, Sandra Bullock went and told him something <laughs> and he's in the game and he said, why'd you do that? He said, I had to take him to the parking lot or whatever it was he said. I was, yeah. Juan, you read my. Against Nichols, B, it's A as we see that run again, B, Look at that big guy down there. Look at his feet moving. That's he a 300-pound man, move. guys. He can definitely move for a big guy. Jones hits the left side. And Jones is about a yard short of the first. Let's see, Eli Sawyer can get a touchdown. The other two quarterbacks did. And Laura Dane gets hammered at the one-yard line. Pass was thrown a little bit behind. <laughs> but I'm up here. He's down there. So nah, I'm left I think this Coach is going to be a quarterback sneak. And Sawyer looks like he, he fumbled. fumbled the football, and that is going to be a turnover on downs. Fletcher's going to throw. He's just going to heave it up, and Price was not able to get to the football. Quarterback run, and Fletcher somehow got out of the end zone. Miraculously, back up center, and sometimes those those exchanges, uh, you have to practice them a lot in practice. This is a shotgun team, too. As Sawyer finds the fullback, another player that has a catch here tonight, Connor Briggs. That football in the flat, he's behind the line. And the receivers, which allows the receivers to be able to block downfield. And, and probably half of those are from within probably 50 miles of the campus. And he just does an excellent job recruiting local talent. And he's such a good football coach. He makes There's so many connections in the Southland Conference. Every week we do this and it's like, well, you know, Brad Laird knows this guy. And Coach Southern, if you're going to whip it around, whip it around, commit to it and get good at it. And that's a big run by number 29. Inside the 10 yard line and corn to a rock. And you know, another thing, co kind of commend Coach Selfo and his staff of, of you know, kind of, you know, calling the dogs off per se, you know, and not, no reason to, that this game needs to get embarrassing to anybody. They're all friends, they know all each other well, they respect each other, and they respect each other enough to not do that. And that is going to be a touchdown run for the Lions. And now we have a 50 burger on the board for the Lions. 55 points scored, and that is three drives, at least one time, by each quarterback. So Cole Kelly obviously has a couple touchdowns tonight. You saw Stevens Johnson with a touchdown run, and now Eli Sawyer with a touchdown drive.
And, you know, I'm looking out there, and it, it's it's not the backups for Northwestern's defense. And they ran the ball down the field and scored a touchdown with the backup offensive line and the third-string quarterback and a running back who we didn't even have on the roster as a running back. You know, so credit the Lions for continuing to play hard, you know, doing the right thing, running the football, not throwing it all over the yard, up four scores, and, and you know, just respecting your opponent. For the snap by Fletcher. As that's going to be a loss on the play. But as I continue with the story, Cole Kelly. Those guys just getting to know each other and getting together every summer at the Manning camp. And Fletcher has been under duress the entire night. And another player added to the party is Josh Randall. Out on the outside with a sack. Freshman out of car. So that clears the picture just a, just a little bit. Well, and you know, we talked about you know, the rivalry and, and everything else just down the road, Thibodeau, Ham, you know, it's not far and, and so forth. But so Frank Selfo going to be out in midfield to shake hands with uh, Brad Laird. And uh, Coach Laird has been in a tough position along with uh, you know, the rest of his coaches, Coach Smiley, Coach Lucas, uh, which is a lot of the, the injuries right now. But Southeastern gets a 56 28 victory over the Northwestern State Demons. The quits their eighth victory of the season. So I'm here now with Lions quarterback Cole Kelly. Cole, you just tied the program single season record with 35 touchdowns tonight. That was a pro, uh, record in 2004. What do you credit your success 35? to? 35. For the season? Yeah, for the okay. season. Oh, I didn't know that. Honestly, uh, that's a blessing, man. There's been some really great quarterbacks to come down to come through here and. Uh, Man, you know, I'm just, you know, all the glory goes to God, man. Without him, I wouldn't be here. And, uh, you know, it's a really special team, special group of guys. And I'm just, and, you know, I love, to, I love where I came and say how grateful I am to be where I am. The last touchdown brought the score up 56 to 28 against the Demons. What do you, how, how is your offense so dynamic? Uh, you know, I mean, I think Coach Stevens just, you know, I think it's a good offense in general. I think the way he teaches it to us, the detail we put into the uh, to preparation, you know, that's, that's part of it. And uh, that's a big part of it. And then, you know, guys executing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, our offense can be can be great. Like, I mean, I, I, we could score every drive, I feel like. If we all just, you know, really focus in and do, what we're, do our job every play, man, our, this offense is really good. We talked about it this week, how you said, do we just need to do our job, make sure we do our individual assignments? Assignments. Yeah. Do you think that happened tonight? Yeah, for the most part, I thought so on offense. You know, I thought for the mo for the most part, you know, we came out. You know, for the last uh, few weeks, we hadn't really scored on the first drive, or you know, uh, so we were really preaching to start fast. Thought we did that tonight, and then we never really looked back. There was really maybe a drive, a couple drives in there where you know, we had the one turnover to where it's just. But you know, you correct those mistakes. It's a football game. You know, there's gonna be adversity. You know, I I'm a perfectionist. I want to be perfect, but you know, stuff like that happens. But we just gotta correct it and keep going.